Greetings, fellow outsiders, and welcome to a new RPG maker called Sweeter Yesterday. In this game, it apparently shifts from being cute to creepy with an impactful contrast. I'm excited because it looks adorable, so let's go ahead and begin. Another thing I should mention is this is the demo version for this game, so let's go ahead and start. This game is a work of fiction. There are a few scenes of violence and grotesque imagery, as well as mature and dark themes not suited for those who are easily disturbed. Please note that this is the demo version of Sweeter Yesterday and the content warnings are different. Only mild blood warnings apply. Thank you. Thank you. Imaginary friends are truly a fascinating concept. Developing a personal relationship with someone that doesn't exist in reality. How do our minds even come up with something like that? This type of behavior has been considered hallucinatory or even psychotic. However, it is a normal and common phenomenon for children to have. The growing mind of a child is an incredible and creative thing. They have the ability to conjure up an entire personality for a being that does not exist. But how do they come up with these vivid characters in the first place? The answer is, they come from within us. The traits of our imaginary friends stem from our personalities in real life. Of course they do. It's only natural after all. In an ideal world, where we can create our perfect friends, wouldn't we want them to be similar to us? Mm, not exactly. Not 100% of the time. All of our personality traits get reflected onto the imaginary friends that we create. If you are particularly extroverted, then it is likely that your imaginary friends will be extroverted too. If you enjoy singing and dancing, then it is likely your imaginary friends will share the same hobbies too. But, how do we know who we truly are? Some traits that we don't know that we have can manifest in unexpected ways. Because nobody is perfect. Nobody's personality is flawless. Everybody has good and bad traits. It's just a matter of... A matter of... Laletta. Laletta, can you hear me? Are you listening? A uh, voice? Laletta. Oh, it's so pretty. Laletta? Huh? Oh, good. You seem to be paying attention now. Oh! I'm going to continue asking you the questions. When did it first start? Huh? When did what first start? Were you not listening after all? It's fine, I'll repeat myself. When did your selfish and insincere behavior start? What are you talking about? You're still not willing to talk about it, I guess so. Let me move on. Laletta, when did your vain and narcissistic behavior start then? <laughs> These are kind of loaded questions. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Laletta? The only way this will help is if you're honest with me. Do you not realize that I'm on your side? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just really confused. Okay, just do your best to answer me. Laletta, you've always loved cooking, right? Uh, I can answer this question. I've loved being in the kitchen for as long as I can remember. I love cooking. I love seeing people smile when they eat my food. Hmm. What is it that you like about cooking? Aside from people eating your food, that is. What is it about cooking itself that you actually enjoy? Well, I like the act of cooking itself. Playing with the food in my hands is a lot of fun. Hmm, I see. Now for my final question. Loletta, how long has it been since? Are we not gonna hear the final part of the question? Oh no! The floor is so cold and hard. This place is... Is it a candy place? Controls. Confirm Z. Enter space. Okay. Items are not used automatically. Select an item for the inventory to use it. Please use headphones for the best experience. What is this? A telephone? Hello? Oh! Hello! That's our safe spot. Okay. And what are you? 
A teddy bear made of rich, smooth chocolate. Are those Pocky down at the bottom? Or biscuits, chocolate covered biscuits? Teddy bear made of chocolate, okay. Should we leave? A chocolate door, go inside. We're taking risks here. Oh, cute. Wow, what a cute place. Everything seems to be made of chocolate. What are you? Welcome back, Loletta. A ribbon? Valentine's chocolate resting in a cute, cutely in a pink romantic box. Welcome back, Lil oh. Dazzling chocolate cakes, you wonder how they never go stale. A fancy box of chocolates on display. Ooh, yeah, let's eat one. Hmm, they're so yummy. Uh. Ow, there's something inside this chocolate. A small gem fell out of the chocolate. Ooh, small gem. There's a number engraved on the back. Eight. Okay, are we gonna have to remember that? Chocolate popsicles on display. They almost look like porcelain. Let's check out the other thing. If we can find any more gems. Valentine's chocolate resting cutely in a pink romantic box. Oh, there's a sign underneath. Six Valentine's kisses. That must be the brand name. Delectable array of chocolate desserts presented in the case. This make me hungry. Dazzling chocolate cakes. You wonder how they never go stale. A fancy box of chocolates on display. Powdery chocolate truffles are presented beautifully in the case. Chocolate popsicles on display. They almost look like porcelain. What's you guys' favorite chocolate dessert? Let me know in the comments. I'm thirsty. Okay, I'm thirsty. Cozy mugs of hot chocolate. Take the mugs. Hot chocolate out of the inventory. An empty table. Can I give these to the bear? Items. Hot chocolate. Yeah, place the mugs. Ah, big brain. Tray of delicious chocolate samples. Take them. Do I have to give these to these guys? I'm hungry, yeah, okay. Items, samples. Place the samples on the table. An unlocking noise was heard somewhere. Okay. What is this? Welcome back, Loletta. No, I want to see the box. <laughs> Sparkling locked chest. Insert the first, second, and third digits. So eight was red. And then what was it? Six was blue. And we don't have yellow yet. Nothing happens. Okay, so we got to find the third thing. What is this? Chocolate sculptures blocking the passageway. Oh, we're running so fast. The passageway is now unlocked. Okay, so we did that preemptively. I see a shiny thing. Rose made out of white chocolate. There's a number drawn on one of the petals. Three. Okay, so three is the last one we need. Can we comment on anything else? What does the ribbon have to say about this room? Aren't these roses so pretty? They actually are. I don't think... Oh, no, I've seen chocolate roses because they come in those little tinfoil things. But having like a white chocolate rose or something sounds... It look, I, oh, ugh, such a nice gift. Okay, sparkling locked chest. Insert the first, second, and third. No, what was it? Three? I think it was three. There we go. Chest opened. There's a drawing inside the chest. My friends? A bear, a kitty cat, and an ant? There's something else in the chest. A lighter? Ooh, can we melt the chocolate with this? Let's try. Melt. Yeah, the lighter melted the sculpture away and it ran out of oil. We had just enough. What a beautiful young lady you've become. <laughs> oh, stop it, you. Aw. Adorably wrapped presents. Adorably wrapped presents. The door is locked. Okay, it's a chocolate door. Heart-shaped seat. Chocolate seat. Looks like there's something on it. Passageway is locked. Okay, then let's go up here. And, oh, the bear. But I see something shiny, a sign. Read the sign. Welcome to the chocolatery. Here we have four kinds of chocolate. Loved by everyone, milk chocolate is a safe bet for anyone to like. A more sophisticated taste, dark chocolate is suited for a more mature palate. Sweet and healing, white chocolate is perfect for comforting people. Unique and fun, pink chocolate is a great fit if you want to try something new. Aw. Okay, let's talk with this bear. He looks sad. <laughs> What's wrong? I, I, I got into a fight with my friend. I'm so sad, I don't know what to do. I wish I could cheer up somehow. Do we have to give you chocolate? Jars of luscious chocolate spread. Pots with chocolate candy. Pots with chocolate candy and luscious chocolate spread. Okay, so 
What was it, the white one that was comforting? White chocolate, take a piece. White chocolate added to inventory, let's go. <laughs> Can I give you this? Oh, right, I have to open my inventory. Gift chocolate. Oh, white chocolate. White chocolate always helps me calm down. This is perfect. Please take this as a thank you. Heart seat added to the inventory. Why did you steal the seat from the other room, my dude? Can I talk to him again? Now that he has a heart, what does the ribbon have to say? Thank you for cheering up. It was about time. Thank you once again. You're welcome. I'm the hero. <laughs> All right, let's put this down. Table made of chocolate. Oh, we have to... Delicate heart seat. Can I not... Put it down? Put down the heart seat. Perfect! All the tables are set. An unlocking noise is heard in the next room. Is it this door or the other one? The other one. Okay. Let's go down. The passageway is unlocked. Ooh, creepy. Painting of a man's silhouette. My dear. Ah, uh, oh, it talked! Would you do me a favor? Well, what do I get out of it? Uh, nothing, I'm afraid. Sorry to have bothered you, my dear. Fine, I'll do it. Gee, stop asking me already. <laughs> Anyways, the other painting over there. Mm-hmm. Are you in love? Would you help me show her my love? They're in love. <laughs> I want to go over there and show her myself, but I'm too far away. Please help my feelings reach her. <laughs> Aw, that's so sweet. Of course, I'll do my best, Mr. Painting. Thank you, my dear. Let's do it. How do I do it? An elegant cup of coffee, it's still warm. Oh, coffee and chocolate. Elegant cup of coffee, it's still warm. Waste bin, trash can, it's empty. Empty, huh? Wasn't there a saying about that? Empty like my soul or something. <laughs> well, Letta, what saying are you referring to? An elegant lamp, it's so pretty. A book titled Report Log One. Read it. We're being nosy. There's no nothing special about me. I grew up as an ordinary child. I didn't suffer from hardships or dilemmas. I had a normal childhood. I was just like everyone else. So, you see, when I created my imaginary friends, it wasn't because I was lonely. People liked me. I had friends. I didn't do it, uh, it as a way to escape. I did it because I was creative. There's no special reason behind it, and that's what I keep telling him. But he keeps trying to psychoanalyze me and find some deeper meaning behind it. Well, guess what? I'm sorry, but there's no deeper meaning. I was a child. I had nothing else to do but be creative. It was so much fun to come up with my own friends. After all, I could decide every last detail about them. How they acted, what they liked, everything. So I made them all just like me. As I grew as a person, they grew with me and continued to be my perfect reflections. They were the best friends I ever had. Dolce, Lecce, and... Ooh. Are those the three friends from the drawing? The rest of the page is torn off. An unlocking noise is heard in the room. Okay, what about these bears? Teddy bear made of rich, smooth chocolate. Okay, let's see these flowers. Pot of happy looking flowers. Bookshelf. None of these books have any pictures. Reading isn't really for me. I prefer cute things. Reading can be cute. Pot of happy looking flowers. Okay, let's go down. Can we talk to this painting though? How do I help? <laughs> that scared me. A painting of a woman's silhouette. Okay. So we gotta find a way to show their love. Passageways unlocked. Oh no, is this where it starts getting creepy? The teddy bear is staring straight ahead at the wall. I can't see anything outside. Okay. Is there something over here? A letter. Read the letter. I wonder what I'll be like in 10 years time. I hope I stay the same. I like myself the way I am. Or maybe I might become even better than I am now. Who knows? One thing is for sure though, I hope I only become a better person. I would never want to lose myself. Oh no, it's like darker. <gasps> what happened in this room? It looks like someone was here. Oh no, is the teddy bear okay? The teddy bear is all bloody. 
The teddy bear's stomach is bulging with something inside. Do I have to cut it out? Oh no, the windows! Oh, her face. It's all bloody. It's all bloody. Oh, and this is all just normal now? All right, we gotta find a way to show the love. We're just going back to normal after that. Nothing weird about it. Ooh, white roses, take one. Right, white rose added to the inventory. Okay, so I'm supposed to give her the rose. Give her the rose. Here you go, miss, this is for you. Oh, a white rose. How lovely, thank you. <laughs> Oh, don't thank me. It's from that painting over there. He wanted to help me express his feelings for you. He loves you very much. His feelings for me? I had no idea he felt this way. Please tell him that I love him too. To show my gratitude for helping us out, you can have this. Thank you once again. What did I get? A key? A small knife. Take the knife. Thank you. Oh, it's so cute. It's painted. Okay, so let's go say thank you. Painting of a man silhouette. Mr. Painting, I have news for you. Miss Painting says she loves you too. Isn't that great? Oh, really? I'm so glad. Thank you, my dear. Well, let's go cut this teddy bear open, even though I don't want to. Okay, cut the stomach. The knife is now dripping with blood. There's a key in the teddy's stomach. Take the key. Chocolate key added to inventory. I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I've played enough of these to know. <gasps> that room. I don't want to think about it. It's best to just avoid it. Didn't I say I don't want to go back there? Well, I just had to see the dialogue option. All right, so now we have the key. We're going to go up here. The door is locked. Items. Chocolate key. Use the key. Oh no, it's the room again. A bunny rabbit? She's finally back. Is that one of our friends? Oh no, a telephone. Hello? Save. Those are roses. Okay, let's go to the mirror. An enchanting mirror. You see a familiar face staring back at you. Familiar? Is it mine? Sweeter yesterday. Was that the demo? <gasps> oh, it's so pretty! Liletta. Oh, look at this bedroom. <gasps> so cool. Fluffy queen size bed. Queen sized, huh? It's fitting for me. <laughs> Aw, cute. Okay. My telephone. It's a bit outdated these days, but it's fashionable. My nightstand mirror. <laughs> Looking cute as always, Loletta. We look older here. My vanity desk. It contains perfume, mascara, lipstick, and other assorted makeup. My night lamp. I keep it to avoid the dark. Keep it on to avoid the dark. My bookshelf. There's a book named The Theory of Colors. Oh, read the book, yeah. In color psychology, pink is a sign of hope. It's a positive color, inspiring warm and comforting feelings, a sense that everything will be okay. The color pink represents the sweetness and innocence of the child in all of us. Pink can also remind you of earlier childhood memories associated with nurturing and comfort. Interesting, my wardrobe. It's where I keep my clothes. Why did that stutter? I don't need to look inside right now. I think there might be something in the wardrobe. My handbag, look inside. There's a menu inside. Summer lettuce roll, truffle cream cappuccino, golden citrus salad, spice lamb cutlass, wagyu burger. Delicious. These are my ideas for the newest dreamy kitchen menu. Is there anything else I should add? What would you like to add to Liletta's menu? Type using the keypad. Ooh, what do we want to add? Let's add um, chocolate. Oh, let's just add chocolate cake. Lava cake. Let's add lava cake. 
I misspelled cake. We're just going to go with it. <laughs> Lava cake, huh? I'll think about adding it to the menu. I hope customers will like it. I have a feeling I'm supposed to input a code there. Matching teddy bears that my best friend gave me. I should go see her again soon. White roses that were given to me as a present. I still remember the day he gave these to me. Oh, so all of these things seem to be bleeding in. That's strange. Why is my bathroom door locked? Ugh, I can't get through. Whatever. I'd be a little bit more concerned about that if I didn't know why my bathroom door was locked. It's about time I go to work, isn't it? Hmm. My name is Loletta. I'm 22 years old. Although I'm still young, I managed to open my own restaurant by myself. My restaurant is called Dreamy Kitchen, and it's my pride and joy. I love cooking. I love being able to pursue my passion every day when I head into work. The best feeling is seeing people smile when they eat my food. My job brings me happiness. Uh, I have very few problems, and life is amazing. That's right, my life is amazing. Of course. There is nothing sweeter than being in the moment today. Oh, okay, we're here. Homemade marmalade. I can't wait for or orange picking season again. Homemade jam. I remember picking strawberries with her to make this jam. That was such a fun day. Are we still picking? Like, did we do all this with our imaginary friends? A fluffy brioche. Fl a muffin tray. Wilting flowers. I need to get new ones. It would be nice if there was a florist nearby. A sink. <laughs> a chef always have to keep, has to keep her hands clean. Cupboard with fine china. Okay. Are these cakes? Delicious pies and tarts. Homemade baguettes. Ooh, yummy. Yeah, all homemade baguettes. Okay. This is so cute. Dreamy kitchen. I wonder if there's a reason why there's a name chosen. Okay. Windows. A warm morning light washes over you. Today will be beautiful too. Warm morning light. Okay. Can't interact there, but we can go down here. This is so cute. Look at the pancakes. I love it. <laughs> can we go anywhere else? I don't think so. All right, time to go into work. This is adorable. Go into the kitchen? Yes. Let me get ready for the day. Did you need to ask me something? Oh. What do I think of Loletta? I love her, of course. Lala is the best friend I've ever had. I've known her for a long time now. But even as the years pass, we never grow apart. Time makes our bonds stronger. I love her. I really, I really do. Sorry. <laughs> Such a straightforward and simple question, yet here I am getting emotional. She just means so much to me, that's all. She's always been so kind to me. That's one of her best traits. She's so sweet and friendly to everyone she meets. That's why people love her so much. And during times where I needed kindness, she was there for me. So, of course I love her. Aww. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for playing the demo of Sweeter yesterday. Although it's quite short, it's just a preview of what's to come in the full game. I loved it. I hope uh, you look forward to it and we'll play it when the time comes. <laughs> You all do want to meet my imaginary friends, right? Yes, I do. Then make sure to play the game when it comes. Thank you once again. I'll see you soon. Bye, Loletta. All right, well, that was the demo for uh, Sweeter yesterday. I really thoroughly enjoyed that. It was very cute. Um, had some levels of mystery, though, in there. Um, the mirror seems to be our... I'm looking at the screen right now, seems to be our connection to the real world. So if you guys would like to see the full game playthrough, um, be sure to leave a like on this video and let me know down in the comments. I will link the demo in the description if you'd like to keep up with this game as it is uh, being developed. But on that note, I'm going to say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, we're not alone out there and I will see you in another video. Bye bye.